Hi there, we got a lot of questions on how we've set up Foundry for our Twilight 2000 campaign and what modules we are using. So I would like to take some time to show you. Let's uh, bring up the modules here. The first one is chat images and uh, that one we're using to um, more quickly provide handouts on the fly. Uh, without having to prepare them and uploading to the servers first. It is especially uh, useful when uh, using a cloud hosting service like we are, uh, since you have to upload uh, the files to the servers to present them to players otherwise. Uh, and with this module, you can simply drag and drop some uh, handouts to the chat box. And it will upload and display automatically. And you can click it up and show it to your players immediately. Extremely useful. The other one is chat portraits, which you can see here. It uh, displays a chat portrait next to each chat message. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. You can see the players and even the game masters more more easily which character the message and the event is originated from uh, the third one is dice and ice <laughs> nothing to say about it it's really useful to have uh, visualized dice mechanics and uh, since uh, the twilight 2000 model has support for the custom dice it makes it even better dice tray uh, which brings up these custom buttons uh, to make custom die throws more quickly simply by clicking on uh, d10, d12 and etc and even modifying the rolls and rolling them quick and easy uh, and next we have fx master uh, which is uh, used on this uh, travel map here for example I can zoom out so you can see it more easily. Where we have used uh, a fog effect, I believe, uh, to represent uh, a cloud coverage animated over the battle map, on the travel map. Uh, I can see here. I think I can bring out the configurations. No, it's under this button effect controls and uh, weather effects and we have, here we have clouds ah it was uh, clouds scale direction and this is displaying clouds on the palm map you can also use uh, it to represent fog in various degrees and thickness and rain, even top-down rain and snow, etc. Really useful. I've also used it in some um, battle maps. If I activate this one. I've added an effect to this crash plane uh, by using this uh, special effect pane. And you can have um, Several uh, third-party effect libraries as well. I think I used this red fire cone and rotated it and placed it on the plane. Useful. After that, I have the journal scaler. Uh, since uh, some players were complaining that they couldn't see properly and needed to zoom in on the, some of the handouts. Um, more particularly the default handouts, the Operation Reset and Order Bell handout, uh, which they can't uh, zoom in uh, in Foundry default settings. By having that module activated, they can now hold Control key and mouse wheel to zoom just like in every other browser. <laughs> this old bell 
they can't see much more anyhow because it isn't uh, high resolution enough but we thought it was useful so i keep it another useful module is the biaster library which is using to um, automate uh, gun sounds click up a character here for example and their gear each time i click this weapon I believe you hear wig sound of the AK9. I think I have an underground sound tied to it, but if I edit this gun, you have a item track, and here you can tie a weapon sound when each weapon activates, which makes it more immersive, in my humble opinion. Uh, we have uh, some audio packs. Next up. It's also really useful. In Vanilla Foundry, it's uh, really hard to see which player is active. And if I add them to a bell encounter here. And begin the bell. <laughs> you see a really huge it's for a, a vehicle. But if you turn to Dirtman, for example, here. You see, it's um, a highlighted icon um, rotating ar around it to make it more visible which player is act is the active player in the battle rounds. We also have Not Your Turn, which is adding these two buttons to block either combat moment or block non-combat moment it also adds a function for the players to a request moment if you have, want to have it even more strict i've also added the scene tile which i discussed in another video and the reverse reverse initiative order which is one of the recommended modules uh, for the twilight 2000 system since it reverse initiative so that initiative one is first and then Ascents from there. Socket lib uh, soundboard uh, to more easily add sound effects. Stream view, which adds a separate stream view for a clean streaming view uh, if you are streaming. I can show you here. This adds a separate stream view which displays uh, the stream. A view without any menu icons on the left and bottom and on top here and you can uh, design uh, which scale level and automatic uh, movement to uh, respond to the players um, if you add the, the stream view user as observer to all the players, uh, they will automatically cycle through those who are the ones moving and zoom in to them in the battle view. The next one which we're using is um, Swedish <laughs> language, not for everyone. The Forge uh, is a module uh, that is uh, provided through our hosting service, The Forge. And then I have my own Twilight module and uh, the original Twilight 2000 corset module and also the recommended Gear Zero Actions for using short, uh, no fast and long actions. We haven't used that that much, uh, but I hope we will be using it more. So. Those were all the modules we are currently using. If you have some other modules that you would like to recommend, please uh, post a comment about it. Good luck, you're on your own.